Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's me, Super Paul Games. This is the show. The newest ballpark on the Major League landscape. There's a look inside Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the San Francisco Giants and the Miami Marlins. Two of the best bats in the business go at it next on the show. Is that honestly the newest park? Dave Wilder gets the ball for Miami in this one. He's like, get off my back, catcher. I'm trying to do my pitcher thing. He's got a 4-12 and record. He nice He's been having a rough year, apparently. Hopefully, that means we can rock him like a hurricane. So he is throwing the ball as good as he can right now. Look at that tug dick. Twenty-two stolen bases away from the record, hitting a strong three ninety-six. Runners on the corners. That is definitely the way you want to start a game. He's ready. Here's the first off. Oh, and we get a fastball up the middle. There's a swing. Come on, get down, get down. You better go home, because we're going to the third. Third crosses the plate. Hence, rounds the corner and is headed. Safe! There we go. Two RBI triples. You're not going to be close for too long. Now a two-run lead and a base hit away from making it three. Moss, you better get us home. You left us stranded twice in the last game. Now to the plate, Brandon Moss. He's currently Nine tied four. for second place Third on the team in home runs. Brandon Moss. It'd be nice if he got a home run right here. I would love to be able to change my tune on Moss and be like, what a great guy who doesn't shit the bed every chance he gets. Not bitter at all. Runner on third, no outs. There's no excuse for it, the, the team not to get and Dick the home. Up is way low that time. This Marlins ball club, Harold Reynolds, as they begin play here tonight. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still six and two over their previous eight ball games. Yeah, Matt. I mean, it's been a pretty good homestand. They're three and one right now. They're playing good baseball, but that four and one really kind of separates them. That's why today's game is important. All right, one one count. That might be all the higher tug dick can count. <laughs> here comes the one one. Fastball runs in tight here and it's two and one. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew. What happened to his face? Jansen's gonna remind you. Did he look at the Ark of the Covenant and he somehow survived? He's gonna take us back to the nineties, calling balls off the plate. Pulled toward right center field. And Moss actually did what he needed to do was sacrifice to get the runner home. Unfortunately for him, it didn't carry more. Another, you know, five feet or so, and that would have been a home run. Still, we got the run in. Moss did something good for once. Tug Dick was not going to wait for him to come back. <laughs> Tug Dick right into the dugout. He's like, nah, I ain't talking to him. Stepping up now, Rafael. Jimenez, and he's looking Jimenez! The bat's been ice cold over Jimenez. the last eight or so ball games. Yeah, he's sitting 111. Hey, Jimenez, I hear that your Little League team wants you back. Two -two from <laughs> those are Little League numbers. Uh oh, run Pee Wee Ryan. Enough trash talking. Back, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. All right, time for majestic defensive alignment for the Giants. Do you think Tug Dick misses the trains in left field? Do you think he, like, after this is going to get a postcard and write them? Dear trains, Thomas the Tank Engine and trains. I'm in Miami. <laughs> Look at the outfield. Dick, Jay, and Pence. At the plate, Derek Dietrich. And he is proving to be something of a non-threat. Yeah, no wonder why the Marlins are having a hard time. That they got a guy who's hitting 111 over the last game, eight games. They got a guy who's hitting 161 over the year, and he's actually starting. Oh, wait, or was that the pitcher? I wasn't paying attention to what position he was playing. No errors, and no one left. Well, going out of the top of the third... The I thought it was the pitcher, though, if they only had one hit, and we're only through two innings. Digging in for his second at-bat, Tug Dick. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Top of the third, nobody on. Look at all those pitches that guy's got to choose from. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh, we hit it hard, but is it going to carry enough? 
Snake. I'm not so sure Bring it's gonna. Oh, warning track power. That is frustrating. Another and five feet and would have been gone. Where these guys sit from the current division standings, and it's not all that pretty as they face a sizable deficit at this point in the season. Yeah, Miami's getting its ass kicked in the standings. Hot Atlanta, though, is hot as always. In is Christian Yelich. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Christian third Yelich. inning here. Three to one, our score. Runners on first and second. Go ahead, run at the plate. Come on, Pee Wee, you got that. Straight away left. Moving under it, Dick. That guy had a speed of one. Wow. So it's no runs on two hits. Anything less than he would have been moving backwards when he tried to go forwards. My speed is negative. Three to one. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Mitch Moreland. He'll start things off now again. What's up, Mitch the bitch? Like to keep it classy. Hey look, your family's standing up for you. Oh, whoa. There are actually more people at this game than the last one. Maybe it's a weekend game? Here it comes. Now a Maybe they realize they're playing the first place Giants? Moving in. He makes the catch. A What's up, Wolverine? Get there and record the first out of the end. Tug Dick, one for two. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. We only have one run lead. Man, we were so close to hitting a home run earlier. And the pitch. Left side. No, third baseman, no! Is there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Oh, I was hoping we could plead, plead to him and he'd screw up or whatever. <laughs> Tug dig one for three. Digging Nobody on top of the seven. Dick. Left fielder. Tug. First pitch Dick. coming, here it is. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Three runs, seven hits. And no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Oh, damn it. Safe? Yes! Thank God he dropped it. I don't know if that'll be an error or a hit. I said damn it, though, because I wanted to launch it, and we just got a little bit on top of it. You can't handle these balls, son. Don't even try. He's like, I don't want to handle your balls. Exactly. Well, apparently everyone's got the long hair thing going on now. And he'll get back in safely. Between the pitcher and the dick. Long hair has been his good luck charm Another this year. And he'll Maybe he's like Samson. The first baseman, Brandon Moss. Pitches a cold strike to throw. Safe. That wasn't a terrible throw by the catcher, the but can't stop the speed. Multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag, so they were onto him. But sorry, son. And took off. <laughs> Don't you be messing with Daddy Dick. Nice that sounded creepy. Look at that ump giving the dirtiest look. Very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. I wonder who he was mad at. Probably Tug Dick. Oh shit. Throw behind the runner at second, and a dive, but he's back in. We're going for third. Here comes no, we're not. To Moss. Runner goes. Shit, shit, for shit, third. shit. He said. Throw won't get him. It always takes a little bit longer than I'd like to react to that. Comes on oh, shit. Now two. go back. Now a swing and a chopper. Keep going. Foul right at home plate. <laughs> Doesn't matter, foul. We're not going to go on this guy because he's got a good throw to home. Watch him do the high leg kick now, though. Another o2 No. Nope. He's got a really good move to home. More pitchers should be pitching like that when Dick is on second. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Spin and a throw back to second. A dive, but he's back. All right, Moss. Get us home. Steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Or you could just shift the bet again, like always. Territory. There now is Moreland, and he's got it for the second out. You see him bump the first baseman as he comes through. How rude! I wish I could do that every time. Here's Buster. Yeah, there we go. There's our man, Buster Posey. So far in the game. If anyone can get that dick home, it's Posey. 
And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intention. I guess they're scared of him and setting yeah, up the well, force play. Nice swinging the bat as well as he's been. This is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. That's not how I tell you to play, so son. He's now, like, Dick, you're not my daddy. Eaton. And it looks like this could be a critical ad bat. I get wanting to pitch to Eaton when he's 244, but I would not want to pitch to somebody who had already got hits on me three times in the game. Well, I guess this is a different pitcher, but still. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the nope. line. And they can't run it down. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Hey, pitcher. <laughs> oh, shit. Never mind. I was going to talk trash, but. And the two out threat will. Guess it doesn't really matter. The inning is over. Once again, Brandon Moss does nothing. <laughs> hey, America. I like that place. We're up by a run. Tug Dick, one for four. Top of the ninth. We have a three-run lead. We have had these guys' as number. And we kick whiff. off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. A strong whiff. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. You're really ugly. I mean, you like he was How dare you say mean things? Pitch. Oh, certainly it had to be Matt, but if he was, he obviously wasn't looking for that pitch. All right, and we're on. Gonna be in time as he's able to reach he kind of reached out to grab that or hit that, but it worked. Watch him here on this isolation replay. Is he flying or what? I love how smooth he runs. And he just the nice thing about reaching that far line. out to hit it is he's already like a step or two towards first. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to... You're going to get disrespected by the dick. No. Nope. will step off and fire to the bag. And the runner back safely. That was a manly noise. Woohoo. And another snap throw to the bag. And a dive, but he's back in there. Come on, Brandon Moss is up to the plate. We know he's going to screw up, so... And again, he'll snap one over to first. This guy really does not want to give up any stolen bases. That base is mine. Don't even think it's not. Again now, Brandon Moss. Pitch outside the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Suck it. <laughs> That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitches don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. We're going to third. If we can get that late kick, I want... Please stop. <laughs> Come on, Tug Dick is trying to set a record. He's making something of himself. I bet his teachers in school never said he was going to. Now a spin and another throw back to second. And he just manages to get he can his go back to school and yell at them and be like, I'm a, I'm someone now. And now you remember Mrs. Hefferson? She'll be like, who are you? I'm the dick. <laughs> She'll be like, I'll say you are. <laughs> We're going for third. Yes. I lay kick and a bad throw by the catcher. Hey, one of the keys to stealing third is to get a big lead off the second. And that's just what happened. I bet he would kill at slip and slide competitions. He's got so much practice. He likes to slide head first too, like Pete Rose. Up and out over the plate, but a cold strike, two and one. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You yeah, just pitch to the strikeout because Moss is... Swinging it doesn't matter the situation. It's just because Moss is at the plate. He's set, and the two-one pitch. Swings through the slider there. Well, he got away with one right there. He hung a slider. See, if somebody's guy, trying to kill you order, and the hire Brandon Moss it, to be the hitman, you don't have any worries. <laughs> He's never gonna hit you. <laughs> You'll be safe. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And he and strikes out again. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Stuck on third, the Tug Dick story, thanks to Brandon Moss. Against this guy in this series. This is a really good I have a feeling that if Tug Dick ever writes an autobiography, there'll be at least one chapter to why Brandon Moss sucks. Or maybe a why he sucks, how he sucks. A lot of Brandon Moss sucking story. Come on, Posey. Buster Posey. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far.
This is the ideal situation. Well, ideal situation would be zero ready, outs, but short of that, Posey has the play. Ball that just misses inside. Well, 2-0 and now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you can bet he's not going to hold back. Come on, Posey. All we need is for you to make contact, and we can probably get home. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. I like what I'm seeing right now. In, in, and then goes away. If you pound him in early, it opens up the outside. That's what Tug Dick wishes Brendan Moss would do. Right now. Go away. <laughs> Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Oh. Fouled over towards the coaching what the hell is the third oh, base coach looking at? Right hey, dude, you're one. supposed to be looking at the Good field, not some hot chick in the foul. stands. Where's the hot chick? Show me. A swinging bunt to the mound. A throw to the plate. We shouldn't have gone. <laughs> Tug Dick is aggressive, though. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Bochi might be a little mad about that. <laughs> Top of the bottom of the ninth, I'm sorry. We need three outs to win this thing. He struck out once. I'll admit that was poor base running out of frustration with how much he's been stranded on third. Looked like he had it, but it goes right by him. And he's gonna get to second now with nobody out. Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> Let's not see a replay on that. Instead of a routine out, you got a guy. I thought he was under it. After a two base error, we'll see. He overrun it. Or just bad fielding. Oh, what? Oh shit! Here's Jake Marisnik, and he's got to get on base any way he can with that possible tying run behind him in the on deck circle. Uh oh, they got a runner in scoring position. Two outs. If we get an out here, we end the game. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And Come on, Pee Wee, you got it. In the air to left field, and this should do it. And yes, we win. That makes up for the error. And the Giants have taken the first two games of this series. What's up, Roddy McDowell? As this one is over. Hey, anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team. You hear that? We don't even have a choice. We have to feel good about ourselves. Not bad. We win again. The San Francisco Giants pick up win number 70 to top the division. Tim Lincecum earns his 12th victory. He's like, John <laughs> Sorry, Salinas. Suck a dick. But not this one. We win 5-2. to two. So that's a wrap here tonight. It was a good game. Thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I had a blast. I hope you had a good time, too. Have a great day, everybody.